Hi there. It's great to see that you're interested in joining us. As a tester with Playtest Cloud, you will have the opportunity to test new games before they're released and give your valuable feedback to developers while getting paid. In this video, we're going to take you through how to get started as a playtester and how to optimize your profile for playtests. The first thing that you'll need to do is fill out the form on our signup page. Here, you will need to add your email, name, the games you play, the devices you plan to use for testing, your location, so the country that you're currently in, gender, and date of birth. Developers request testers based on certain demographics, so all of this info will allow us to find playtests that you're suitable for. After completing that, you'll be sent a welcome email with the link to the qualification test. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the game on your device. There are some important points to consider when taking part in the qualification test. Start when you're ready. With paid playtests, it's best to start them as soon as possible, but with the qualification test, there's no rush. Take your time and complete it when you're in a quiet place and can focus on the game. Record for the specified time. For the qualification test, this is a minimum of five minutes. It's best to keep to this amount of recording time and not record for too long because the qualification test is unpaid. As a reminder, this is mentioned both on the sign-up page and in the game itself. Talk while you play. Our developers want to hear what you are thinking and feeling while you play. This is the best way for them to ensure that you are understanding the game correctly. To hear how you feel about the level of difficulty, the storyline, the graphics, and everything else, you'll need to start talking straight away because initial thoughts, whether good or bad, are an extremely vital part of your feedback. Please speak in English during the qualification test. It's also important that you change your device's language to English. For more tips about talking while testing, check out our What to Talk About video. Complete any in-game tasks. If there are questions, please answer them out loud while you are recording. We do not take any written submissions for questions that are asked in-game. While you're recording, your gameplay will be uploaded to us automatically. If you have finished recording, but receive an email that says we haven't received your entire upload, please ensure that you're connected to strong Wi-Fi. It may be necessary to reopen the Playtest Cloud app without playing in order to finish the upload. Once your upload is finalized on our end, we will send you a confirmation email to say that we have received everything. The review process will then begin and we'll send you the results within a few days. If you don't pass the first time, it's not a problem. You can try the test again. Follow the instructions in your feedback email to do so. Just make sure you delete the first test game from your device before you download the second version from the email. Keep the feedback that we provided in mind while you record, or check out our FAQs for more tips on how to give the best feedback. When you've passed the test, you can be invited to paid playtests with us. Each playtest invite will include a link to the game, the reward amount, and how long you need to record for. After you have completed a paid playtest, we will need to review your work, which can take some time. Payments are normally processed within a few days. The frequency of your invites depends on the needs of the developers we work with, so we're unable to tell you when exactly to expect your first playtest. The best way to increase your chances of receiving invites is to keep your profile updated and correct, especially if you get a new device. Also, make sure that you've added all of your favorite and current games. Only add games to your profile that you have played extensively. Developers often want playtesters who are experiencing their game for the first time. This means that if you list games you haven't played much, you could be excluding yourself from playtests you're actually relevant for. For more tips about updating your profile, check out our video on the topic. We hope that this video has given you a good idea about how being a playtester with Playtest Cloud works. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to check out our other videos, our test FAQs, or get in touch with us at help at playtestcloud.com. Happy gaming!